Hello you guys, Sun Gaming Gaming one on video today and today I am ending the Ultimate Command Doctoral 3.0 with the last and ace part of the series and it is the summon command and well let's just get started so I already explained the basic command in general commands I'm just gonna do it here again it's just summon the entity you want to summon and then where you want to summon it I'm using the tildes which is two blocks above this command block and we summon a pig if you want to know everything you can summon you can just slash summon and then tap complete through all of that and you'll basically just get all of those and that might not have been that good of an idea wait let me just kill the ender crystal because that thing explodes I don't want it to explode and we might as well kill the pig so then next we are going to summon a zombie horse so we're just gonna go over a few mobs that can be summoned with slash summon which don't spawn naturally one of which is a zombie horse which is just summon entity horse and then type tree so type tree summons a zombie horse and this one's exactly the same but it's type 4 and it summons a skeleton horse uh, they're pretty cool and yeah I, I just think they look really cool so next we're going on to the killer rabbit which is rabbit type 99 and as you can see it's called the killer bunny it's got red eyes and if I go into game mode zero right here it will try and kill me or actually it most likely will kill me because it does a lot of damage and for some reason it it doesn't do damage when you're on peaceful obviously and switch before I die so I'm still alive next is the giant wither uh, well it isn't really a giant wither but it looks like a giant wither so let's just summon it and as you can see giant wither it's freaking huge but actually the real wither is here and invisible and yeah but if we look up there's a giant wither which looks really cool now let's kill the wither boss because it's making sound although i don't record the sound you you're not hearing it but it's still just really irritating next you can also summon a mini wither which did it just what the hell did it just do? Well, I saw the mini wither for a little while there, but then it disappeared. There you go. And it just disappear disappears into the block or something. Which is really weird. But yeah, mini wither. Really a bit weird this one. Doesn't really work that amazing, but yeah. So next is the rainbow sheep which can also be done in survival by calling a sheep jab underscore and it will just have the sheep constantly change color and it will be a rainbow sheep. Uh, next is the upside down mob which can be accomplished by calling the uh, mob grum or dinner bone with a name tag or command block and it's just upside down which is pretty great. Uh, next is toast. Not really useful this one, I think it's because one of the Mojangsters, the people who made Minecraft, have has a bunny named Toast. And basically you get the same bunny every time when you call it Toast. Next is uh, how to summon a named mob. We've already done that with Toast and with the upside down mob. But you can put in any name you want there. So this is Barbara the Cow. And that's how you summon a mob with a name. Next is how to summon a mob riding another mob. So this is a skeleton riding a pig. So it's just riding ID and then the, the mob you want it to be riding on. So it's a skeleton riding a pig. This is also a way you can summon spider jockeys if you want. Uh, next is how to summon baby mobs like baby zombies and baby villagers. It's basically just by adding the tag is baby one. And it's a baby. A baby. So yeah, that's pretty useful. Uh, next is uh, just about the same but with villagers so this is is villager one which basically allows you to summon a villager zombie and uh, yeah that's pretty great all commands will be in the description if I'm going really quick but yeah like I always say next is um, how to summon a huge slime so this is basically just an enormous slime it's really big and you can well basically there's no limit to how high you can go with the size well <laughs> that doesn't work does it but um 
at some point it's just too high and it will crash your game so try not to go too high with that number uh, so yeah but you can actually go above uh, under one so the mini slimes are really the smallest slimes you can make huge slimes but not small slimes so next is how to summon a mob with equipment so basically armor and stuff so the first slot here is a diamond sword and then the rest is just armor it's just equipment square brackets and in between curly brackets all of the equipment and then closing all the brackets is important of course and there you go fully diamond geared zombie next a mob with potion effects so this is a pig with the active effect 8 which is uh, jump boost i'll link the um, potion effect ids in the description a list with amplifier 50 and a duration of 1 million which is basically endless and amplifier 50 is well just 50 which is a lot and he jumps you saw him go up and he's coming down any minute now and he's dead because he just takes too much fall damage but that is pretty fun to mess around with you can do anything you can make them invisible and all that stuff and yeah that's really useful next next is how to summon a creeper or any mob this works with any mob at all which has no ai which basically means it doesn't move it doesn't react to anything it doesn't do anything you can kill it but it doesn't do anything back like this creeper doesn't explode a wither wouldn't shoot anything an ender dragon would just hover without doing anything it's pretty useful and yeah it also just ignores gravity it just does absolutely nothing it just kind of floats and does nothing but yeah that can be useful in some instances next is how to summon an invulnerable mob now here's an invulnerable zombie but as you might see i am able to kill him that's because i am in creative so if i actually go hey get out of here you get out if i go into <laughs> survival this is gonna freaking kill me but if i go into survival i won't even be able to hit him and now quick Damn it! No! <laughs> well, at least I'm full health again. So, yeah. Basically, you can summon invulnerable mobs, which can only be killed in creative. Um, here it was. You can also summon silent mobs, which don't make sound. So, yeah, I don't record my Minecraft sound, but this zombie isn't making a single sound. Let's just, to be sure, kill, add E, type is zombie zombie and then summon it and uh you can't hear it but i can't hear anything either because he doesn't make sound so yeah that's pretty useful also next is riding a horse so if you want a mob riding a horse it's not just as simple as using the riding tag you actually also have to put tame one now the type isn't important that just makes it a zombie horse as i showed before but the tame is really important because if a horse isn't tame it's just gonna kick off whatever is riding it so this is just a zombie riding a zombie horse next get out is the fuse of tnt so the you basically can summon tnt prime tnt and just have the fuse modified so that it explodes really quick or it takes really long to explode so fuse 30 is pretty normal and it explodes right there. And if I put the fuse to 10, it will explode way faster. So you really, there is a notable, noticeable difference. So next is once again the equipment, but this, this time we're not equipping a helmet, but a player skull. So that's damage three, ID 397. Uh, 397 is the ID of a skull and damage three makes it a player skull instead of like a zombie skull, a skeleton skull so on so on and then tag skull owner and the name of the skull owner which in this case is just me which summons a skeleton with my head and you can do like a lot of hats like mojang actually has these official hats which you can use which is mhf ghost or was it not mhf ghost well whatever it is there's just a lot of skills you can use you can just use whatever username you want so um just whatever username you want basically and you can put it on their head 
Next is Enchanted and Unbreakable Gear. So this one is really long. I'm just going to go over a little part of it. Which It's basically just equipment again. But we've got the tag right there. As you can see we've got the tag. And then Unbreakable 1. Which just makes it so that it never breaks. It's unbreakable. And then we've got the Enchantment tag also behind it. Which gives it sharpness. And with the armor it gives it protection. And there, it's all unbreakable. So it's all enchanted. It's all unbreakable. So his gear never breaks. And yeah, that's how to summon a zombie with enchanted and unbreakable gear. Next is how to summon a mob with attribute. So this is going to summon a skeleton with the attribute generic dot movement speed. So movement speed basically it's just it's speed. So I've got base 2.0. I think it's normally either zero or one. You could l I'll just link the wiki page for attributes down below. It lists off all the attributes and the bases that it is on by default. So if we summon it here, we're just going to need... To oh, there it goes. It runs incredibly fast. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Next is the super mob, which I'm not going to explain. Because it's just all the tags that we had before. Well, not all of them, but most of them. Into one, uh, put into one command, summoning a invisible uh, rider with like strength. I also think I don't really know anymore. It's invisible. It's got enchanted and unbreakable gear. It's riding a zombie horse, and it I, it does have a name, but it's invisible, so you don't see it. So yeah, just a really really long command, and I'll put that in the description. So ne and then next is falling sand. So this is just summon falling sand. Ten blocks above here with the tile ID of one, basically meaning that it's gonna look like stone falling down from the sky. And time one is so that it doesn't just disappear. So if we do that, it just summons stone, it falls down. We can just stack the stone on top of each other, and it will just keep stacking, which is pretty cool. You can also do this with a chest and summon the chest falling down with the, by adding tile entity data, and then items, and then all the items you want in the chest. And if we just uh, do this, for some reason you don't see the chest falling, it just appears after a while, which is pretty weird. But yeah, this is just a chest and it has a sharpness 16,995 iron sword in it. So, pretty cool stuff and that basically wraps it up. That's all of the commands covered. Um, well, that should be all of the commands covered, all the gif. Everything you can do with give, with summon, with test for, with stats, scoreboards, game rules, server commands, and just the general commands. So I hope this tutorial helped you. I hope you learned something. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you also enjoyed the series. And I will see you guys in the next video.